he's telling reporters he's in the best shape he's ever been in. The Cowboys QB also raved about that recent trip to Miami with his teammates ahead of Cowboys training camp. Dak says that trip was 60% football, 40% about team bonding. Dak showing some good leadership there. Shannon, scale of 1 to 10, how much will this offseason improve Dak's performance when we kick off this upcoming season? A two. Um, Skip, I'm very fortunate to play 14 years in the NFL and went to a lot of Pro Bowls. I went to eight. So I was in the locker room with, with Joe Montana and Elway and Marino and Warren Moon and, 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 and Jim Kelly and Peyton Manning and, and Tom Brady. I ain't seen no abs. Mm. Every quarterback that I mentioned in the Hall of Fame and won a boatload of Super Bowl rings. A lot, a lot of MVPs, not one, had one ab. Ab does not equate to playing the position well. I'm glad Dad got an opportunity to train as opposed to rehab. Coming off a broken ankle, Skip, you're rehabbing. You're not training. You're just trying to get back to where you were. Now he's able to train. He's able to get ahead. Skip, the problem is, is that they keep trying to make Dak something that he's not. Dak is not a top 10 quarterback. Now, we've seen him get off to great starts, but we've never have him see him have great finishes, except last year when they played them terrible teams and they gave you a false sense. And I told you, Skip, that's a false sense that you have over there. So for me, Skip, I'm, I am happy. But so what am I supposed to do about the Bronco game? So, so it was because he had a gut in the Bronco game that he didn't, he was terrible? I mean, what was going on in the Kansas City game? Mm. What, what about, what, what about the, uh, the Raiders on Thanksgiving? Out of shape. Yeah, yeah that had to be it. Dak just needs to find some consistency, and I don't think abs is what's holding Dak back. I really don't. Yeah, we make a lot of jokes. It's like, okay, yeah, he looked good. I'm going to say he looks great, Skip, but I don't believe that's the reason why he'll play well is because all of a sudden he has abs because a lot of the greatest quarterbacks that ever played this game, they had one ab. Mm. They had dad bods, and I'm not sure all of them were dads at the time they had that body. Mm. So for me, kudos. He got an opportunity to get away to Miami. He got an opportunity to, uh, to train. Instead of rehab, he got a chance to bond with his teammates. But that's not going to have any bearing on whether or not Dak plays well. His body is not going to have is not going to have one thing to do. The problem is, is Dak need to find some level of consistency because we see him. He starts out, then he has the lull in the middle, and then sometimes he closes well. Well, a couple of years ago, Skip, he started out hot, and he he knows that at the end. He did. Even you had like uh, I don't know what's happened to my quarterback. So for me. What, what I saw this what this offseason, I'm glad he was able to, to get some quality time. But if you think Dak Abs or his body is going to have anything to do with it, I don't believe they've improved enough for this team to take the next step. Mm. Question to the Hall of Famer sitting across from me. Yes. In any offseason, yeah. let's start with John Elway. Yes. Did you ever meet with John and the other receivers Never. In, in a uh, an exotic locale to train. No. No. Never, ever, right? Never. And you won two Super Bowls won two without Super Bowl. doing that, yes. correct? Yes, yes. It's different now, Skip. They, they, these guys, that's what they do. That's what they do. Okay. I, before I answer Jen's question, I'm going to give you all of the above. The longer Dak Prescott is around Jerry Jones, the more he starts to sound like Jerry Jones. <laughs> because... It's almost like he's turning into Jerry Prescott because <laughs> he's selling something. He, huh? he, he sells the off season way better than he performs during the regular season. Okay. And what Jerry has done best, lo these whatever it's been since 1995. Yep. How many years? 27 years. 27 years. What they do best in the off season is they counterfeit fool's gold. That they, they actually <laughs> create fool's gold and and they sell it. To the masses, to Cowboy Nation. And you guys and buy we it. swallow it Yeah, all. yeah, you, you the main one. You're the front of the line. Go, go, go. <laughs> we just swallow it, and then all of a sudden, we got gold. We got gold stars in our eyes and silver stars out in the future, and we think, oh, this is the year. This is it. So they do it to us every year, and this is vintage fool's gold talk because you can run with this. I'm in the best shape of my life, says Dak Prescott, and my... My instinct is to say, my cowboy instinct is, remember, I'm born and raised now. I'm <laughs> lifelong. I'm hardcore. But my cowboy instinct is screaming at me, go, go. This is it. Yeah. He's in the best shape of his life. He just took a whole bunch of his teammates, especially the receivers and Zeke, yeah. 
And for some reason, they went to Miami. I don't know why they went to Miami. I, I love Miami. Yeah. Maybe that's why that's they went exactly to Miami. That's exactly why he went right? to Miami, yes. Yep. And here's the other one that got me was they must have called up the U and just said, hey, can we come play on your, your surface Music. out there? Yeah. Can, can we use – will you open a facility for us? And uh, – they're thinking, well, you went to Mississippi State, but you want to come play here, train here, right? Hey. And there's not one player who went to the U, so I don't know exactly They, know, they, they normally would do that, Skip, because I mean, when I first went to Atlanta, I would train at Georgia Tech. Would you? The, yeah, they would let me use their weight facility, okay, let me use Georgia the track. Georgia Tech. Yeah. As opposed to the Falcons. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay. So, the Falcons were too far. That's up at okay. 20. <laughs> right, you didn't want to do that. Okay, no. I got it. I got it. Jimmy were still the coach. Wouldn't that be something? Then I would have got yeah, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. So the point is, he's saying it was more of a bonding experience than an actual on the field, that he says the off the field was more important than the actual on the field. Okay. I don't hate this, but how much do I love it? I I'll go up to answer Jen's question to how much will this impact him next year, his performance? Three? No, I'm going to go five. You go five. Because I'm right on the cusp. I'm, I'm just going to stand right on the fence here. I don't hate it, and I can't yet love it. Right. But, but I, I seriously don't hate it because surely it's got to make you better than you were down the stretch last year because th th this is some horrendous play here. Yeah. Because to your point, he was gangbusters at the start, and they piled up stats to such a degree that they finished the year ranked number one in scoring points in and number one in yards. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard to do that, yeah. but you piled it up early and then you hung on for dear life late because over your last 11 games, including the playoff game, you went six and five Right against your Denver Broncos at home. You're down 30 to nothing early in the fourth quarter and you register a QBR on a scale of zero to 100 in the Denver game of 19. Well, it's pathetic. Don't don't bring me top ten. You know that that's pathetic, and that was the start of right. the the, the collapse. It mm -hmm. was a collapse to me. <laughs> you go to Kansas City, you have the ball twelve times, and you score four field goals because you have a QBR of nine zero to hundred. Yeah. You are a nine. That's all you got. Then Vegas on Thanksgiving, your QBR was under average. It was forty three in scale zero to hundred, so fifty would be average. But you're forty three, but worse. You win the toss in overtime, and isn't and that out. usually game over? Yeah. Right? Yeah, because that, that's what, you know, everybody told me. That's why Buffalo lost the game because, you know, Kansas City won the okay. toss. And Dallas won the toss and didn't get a first down. And got nowhere fast, right, down the yeah. stretch in 2016. So, so to me, the best stretch of his career was 15 and 16, Cleveland the second time. Mm -mm. Yeah. Miami. Okay. That first that first stint, Miami. And you forget that Boston series. Remember what mm -hmm. he did in Boston? Yeah, I do. Average 34 and 11 with a 45, 15, and 6 in there to throw in there. Mm -hmm. When you said it was over, mm -hmm. when everybody said they are not going back to Miami, mm -hmm. and LeBron said, yes, we are. And then what happened? They won the championship. Okay. And that 20, what happened. 2012, right? Yeah, they won okay. the championship. That what happened. And then what happened in 2013? They got you, got San Antonio. They had the champagne. Mm -hmm. And LeBron said, you're not drinking champagne on my court. Mm -hmm. And then, then he finished it up. And then he dropped 37 on 37 and 12 on Kawhi mm -hmm. and hit the big shot at the top of the key. Mm -hmm. But see, you want the man average. Let this sink in, people. I know y'all didn't know this at home. LeBron James, and when Skip is telling you, in the, six, in the five games they lost, he averaged 28, <laughs> 7, and 6. Mm. D. Wade and Bosch together averaged 29. Mm. And that's why, hence, LeBron ended up saying, I'm going back to Cleveland because I don't believe I can win mm. with what we currently have here. Really? So 2011 was pretty much of a nightmare. And it's good. No, no, hold on, hold on. 2013 looked hold on, like a hold on, nightmare. Hold on, time out, time out. 2011 season was a nightmare? Or the series, the one series against Dallas Maverick? Because well, I'm talking it, it's all in its totality. Well, I'm taking the finals when it was <laughs> mattering, when the money got pushed to the middle of the table. Well, he got two tight championships uh, out of that. When the money uh, was pushed to the state table in 12 and 13, uh, he, he got the money. Really? He got the money. Sweepstakes. Well, uh, thanks to Ray I Allen, he got the money. <laughs> Not thanks to Ray Allen. Well, it we was. We are out you of know time, what, but I think it speaks pretty highly of LeBron when you can't decide you can't. which championship I just did. No, you, no, you, did. No, you did. All right. From Shannon's guy over to Skip's guy now. Will this offseason propel Dak Prescott into having...